Hello, I'm Philip Breslin and I'm a vet from the Department of Agriculture's TB Eradication Scheme, TB 2030. And now I want to discuss with you how TB is left behind in herds that have gone clear. Herds that have already had TB are at a higher risk of having a repeat TB breakdown. 30% of herds in Ireland that go clear will have another breakdown within three years. There are many reasons for this, but one important consideration is that the TB bug is left behind in the herd when the herd goes clear. If your herd has TB, you will have to have two clear tests before you can be de-restricted. But whilst this is the legal minimum, it does not mean that your herd is 100% assured of being TB free. The TB skin test and blood test are the best tests available to us. Please watch our video on how they work, but they do not identify every infected animal in a TB infected herd. So why is this? There are many reasons why TB infected animals won't react to the TB tests. Some of these include early infection, where an animal has only very recently become infected and therefore won't react to the test. Desensitization, once an animal has been tested many times or in the six weeks following a test, they will not react to a test. Immunosuppression, immunosuppression can be caused by viral infections or by liver fluke around the post-calving period and immunosuppressed animals will not react to the test. Poor testing technique. If the test isn't done at its optimal level, it will not identify some of the animals that have TB. Overwhelming infection. Animals that have a generalized overwhelming TB infection are said to be anergic and they won't react to the test. And then you have latent TB infections, where the animal's immune system is quite successful at walling off the TB infection and the immune reaction wanes over time, so much so that the infected animal won't react to the test. So the bottom line is that TB can still lurk in your herd, even when you have passed the two clearance tests. This is why the Department of Agriculture uses the gamma interferon test to try to identify more of these animals and performs retests, thus you have the two clearance tests required. So what can a farmer do to help to reduce the risks associated with TB residual infection? Number one, cull older animals. Older animals are more likely to have been exposed to TB and become desensitized to the test as they get older. Cull any animals that were inconclusive at previous TB tests. These are a higher risk animal also and can harbor TB. And most importantly, cull any animals that have been present at a previous TB breakdown. We know that this can't be done in the year or two after the actual breakdown, but over time these animals can be targeted for culling. Farmers can also take some practical steps to reduce the risk from residual TB infection in the environment around their farm. We know that TB is a particularly resilient bug. It can survive for months and it is present in urine, feces, sputum and saliva, all of which make their way into slurry and farmyard manure. So cleansing and disinfection is crucial in terms of eliminating residual TB infection in the environment around your farm. Please watch our video advising on how best to cleanse and disinfect around your farm. And also be careful about machinery coming into your farm. Ask contractors to clean and disinfect slurry spreaders or manure spreaders before they come onto your farm. And try not to graze any land where slurry or manure are spread for as long as possible. You are not helpless in trying to eliminate residual TB from your farm. You can reduce the risk and together we can help to make Ireland bovine TB free.